Wing Addicts. What's going on? It's your pal Tommy, Donnie the Cleaner, Wing Chef Ryan, and guess what? We are here to kick off a brand new season for you, season six. And OMG, there's a lot of work we need to do here, and uh, we are we're gonna we're gonna kick it off here today in Bethel, Connecticut, at a place called Michael's Tap Room, owned by Mike and Linda Shackro. You may have heard of a place called Michael's Two Cafe. <laughs> because Michael and his wife Linda had a place about 11 years ago. They opened it up over in Danbury, around the Bethel border, over by DMV on South Street. Okay, and it was a great spot. It was little. And uh, they just three months ago, now let's timestamp that, right before Thanksgiving 2020, they moved into this new location on Stony Hill Road in Bethel, and it is about 10 times bigger than the old place. Got at least 4,000 square feet here. So. No doubt, but I'll tell you what, the old place was legendary for its wings, and guess what? They still have those here. Same wings, same flavors, same chefs. So we've got the same stuff going on right here, and we're excited to kick off a brand new season here. We didn't come here because it's huge. We came here because, what do we like to do? We, we eat wings. Wings up. And we're about to eat some wings right now. We've got eight of them on the table. Eight of them. Eight flavors. You want to introduce the ladies, right? And that's actually probably only about um, half the flavors. But of course, we have Kick It Up Buffalo. By the way, they have little flags on yeah. them. So, so, so Chef Ryan oh, can't forget. Oh, 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 that. That's like a little boat. And I, never, I never need this. <laughs> but today I have it. So, as I said, we got Three, Kick It Up four, Buffalo. Four. We have Garlic Teriyaki. That one's not even a flavor on the menu. They'll let you mix and match if you choose this. Oh, they do? Yes, they do. They let you mix and match. We have a Pineapple Calypso Barbecue. That sounds awesome. We have a black and blue, which is a dry rub. So that's interesting. It's actually like a black and blue, dry blue rub? cheese buffalo powder. So I'm interested to see what that one's like. We have a citrus chipotle barbecue, which looks nice, glazy, and sticky. We also have a Korean barbecue. I love Korean barbecue. So does Tommy. We have tequila lime. And then we have the triple X habanero. Now this flavor looks insane. We even got a little extra sauce <laughs> on the side. Them. Right there. To kick it up a few notches. Did you guys see this stuff? Look at this. By the way, I was spooning this out. I just wanted to look it. looks so good. Oh! Donnie was spooning with that sauce. I want to lay in it. That's hot. So, around. obviously, Triple X is going to be... And it's not Vin Diesel's Triple X. Is that the Triple X sauce though? Yeah, it is. How come it's not really... Load it up! Alright, where are we gonna start, guys? I'm starving. Okay, I mean, if we're gonna so, let's go with <laughs> this one. This one. Okay. And go! Citrus Chipotle Barbecue. Oh, oh there's, there's some salad in there. Seems they're they're parsley. Hard, healthy. There's salad. A little parsley garnish. I love garnish. This makes it look pretty. Crispy. Mm. Very crispy. Crispy, sticky. Very sticky. Mm. Very sticky. Very yummy. Very yummy. Crispy, tummy. sticky, yummy. Yummy in my tummy. I go around. Look, look at this. Mm. That's like two bites. It's almost clean. You know? Cooked a little extra well, which I like. Yeah, I like that. That's mm. nice. I like them a little more under. You know me. I like them cooked. Right there. Mm. But that flavor is on point. That's a really nice flavor. Oh my god, I want to go right here. What was that one? I'm going to go Citrus Chipotle Barbecue. Oh my god, that was really good. Yeah, we, that was a recommendation. Calypso about coming through. <laughs> Actually, mm -hmm. a lot of these are. A lot of these are. You really taste pineapple. Now I give you. But it's different than other ones we've had with pineapple on them. Like and literally, like, you put your lips on, you get the sweet right off the bat. Yeah. It's definitely like a nice pineapple puree in there. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. 
Wow. I'm impressed by that one. That's good. I can eat another dozen of those. A little bit of chili, oh, but yeah. I feel muscle taste in that. Mm. By the way, these wings are about small to medium size. So yeah. you can eat lots of them. You need a bunch. You know what? People have preferences. Do they like small, medium, large? We're all over the map. I like the smaller ones because you can eat a lot of them, and we have a lot of and them. They usually, <laughs> I, I, I think they cook better. I think they definitely cook better. There's no doubt. Well, they definitely cook faster. I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Might be. This color here. All right, where are we going? I'm gonna come in here. Where are we going? Tequila lime. Tequila lime. Tequila mockingbird. Oh, this is my first. This is my first wing. I've eaten all the time so far. Leave it up. Wing you need. Cleaners get all wings. Cleaners, Cleaners get it done. Ready? Tequila lime. This is first. Look at them go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bingo. Mm. 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 Good flavor. It's sweet. Different? But it's a it's a citrusy sweet. Yeah. Too cool. Like you can taste the citrus. Definitely got the lime in there. No doubt. There's a little bit of greens on the on the plate, which I got a little bit of sauce on that. I'll taste nice. that directly and you get that little more of the tequila flavor. I'd like to see a little bit more potent in the wing, but that's got a nice flavor. Let's talk about this. A little bit of lime, not overpowering lime to Ritzley. Acidic, that's a good flavor. Don't call me Ryan. Messy fingers, don't mean messy glasses. Oh, by the way, if you can hear the music, we don't know the rights. Korean barbecue. That's different too. Oh, oh yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh my god. That smells awesome. It's not really like other Korean barbecues with the soyish flavor. I don't taste any soy really at all. More ginger. More orange. Yeah. yeah, more orange. Good call. Mm. That's nice. But the heat's there. You know, it's funny, we were asked if we want blue cheese or ranch, and we asked if it was homemade. They said, yeah, we said, yeah, bring it all out. Nobody's touched it, yeah? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Another mark of good flavored wings. This is how we roll, man. When you got this good flavor in wings, and mm -hmm. tell, I'll tell you right now, there's a ton of flavor here. I mean, this is like Flavor City. Yeah. You don't need it. But mm. if you want to, which we will probably. What's this over there? Carry on there. Oh, is this the teriyaki one? Chunks of garlic on this. Grab that. I want the whole boat. Oh, oh, oh. oh. You dumped some sauce on it. Cheap or something. Look, what is it called? Garlic teriyaki. Now. Garlic teriyaki. Oh, this is a nice garlic teriyaki. Sorry. It's a basic teriyaki. I'm going for it. It's a little sweet. The garlic, nice sauté garlic flavor in there. That's what you're looking for. It's not overly thick. That is a perfect but it's a nice salad. salad. Yeah. Oh, I got a little salad in there. That's a nice taste. I taste some teriyaki in it. Not some, yeah. The teriyaki in the, mmm. Oh my God, that garlic. <laughs> oh my God. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Wow. That's nice. Dude, that was a nice garlic taste. And that's really. one that's not on the menu. So make Man. sure if you want it, you gotta combine it yourself. And I'm sure they'll do a garlic hot buffalo, they'll do a garlic, you, drop. you know, dude, I will tell you, I mean, put anything garlic on here because whatever they're using for garlic, which I think is fresh grated, it's, that's awesome. Well, the fact that they'll let you blend them together, it's almost like they're making their menu like the Wonder mm. Twins. I like that one. Powers activate and combine. In the form of? A wing. In the shape of? A sauce. <laughs> Black and blue. We're meant for it. Dry rub. Yes. I want the flag. Oh. And black blue dry rub. Which one's blue cheese? Mm. All right, so Neil Armstrong this. this. <laughs> Every wing kind. All right, so I'm doing the uh, the bone twist. Ready? And you try and step for wing kind. Now there is no more bone in that. Only one. That's all I got to deal with. Watch this. Small bone for mm. A clean for now. I only learned that at Wing Axe University. Wow. That's my nice try rub. Um, 
you know what? I'm gonna break rules. You know, <laughs> for my you know what that dry rub counter reminds me of? The extra powder you get in the bottom of a Doritos bag. They want to buy your lap. What's this guy? That's the classic buff. What is it? Oh, buff the classic low. buff. The kick it up. Kick it up. Classic kick buff. Kick it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. The bottom bottom. Dipping stuff. <laughs> kick I'm, it up. I'm not even playing around. We're going to need a bigger boat. I want more. We're going to need a bigger boat. Mmm. What movie is that from? Dog Spot. <laughs> Perfect. Three jaws. <laughs> Chomping, no talking. Alright, we got one more player. You ever seen a chicken's eyes, Chief? Kind of like those eyes, all black and like this thing. I've never seen <laughs> Ryan take down four barrels of wings. <laughs> Oh, you said duck. That's right. All right, ready? And then these. I'm gonna go Vin Diesel on this. Um, I'm taking the rest of the sauce. Ben? No fear. I was already got one. You could get all that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He just did what I did. Roll it around. Your face. Ah. Uh. Mm hmm. Uh, tasty though. Mm -hmm. Not overpowering the hot, tasty, but hotter than most. Hotter than most. most. Flavorful? It's flavorful. It's got yeah. like a cumin and chili powder kind of flair to it. Is that it's that is? Yeah. Mm. I'd say that easily. Okay, the heat starts coming more because I can taste those peppers going down. It's a smoky DP, no doubt. We made it through eight. I'm, I'm so happy. <laughs> we could have gotten ten. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Mike and Linda Shackro, these guys have it going on. We didn't get a chance to meet them. We snuck in here on a snowstorm night. What? But uh, you know what they say in Wing Addicts Land, the only weather that matters is whether you want wings. And whether you're gonna get them. And we did, and we do. <laughs> so, uh, hey, listen. Anywhere around Danbury, Bethel area, you need to sneak into Stony Hill area and uh, Stony Hill Road. You can't miss it. It's right here on the main drag. Um, come on drag in. Drag yourself our... in here. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you like this, if you have Wing Axe friends, share this with them. Invite them to the groups. Invite them to the YouTube channel and subscribe and be a part of it. And you know what? Get out still and help your area restaurants. What do you think about that, Don? You can still do the Wing Addicts Challenge if you want. Hashtag Wing Addicts Challenge. Throw up a video. What do they need to do? Get some wings, eat some wings, nominate three people, simple as that. Hashtag Wing Addicts, Wing Addicts Challenge. Challenge. We can help restaurants, guys, we need to. Uh, they need our help and uh, you need their wings. Absolutely. Ah! Wings so up. many wings. So little time. <laughs> so little time, guys. Wings up, kids. Wings up. Wings up.